Hey, welcome to another week here at the Total Inn. It is freezing cold. It is snowing outside. And it's gonna be a really short video, maybe a little bit more of talking because yesterday I did a little bit of work here at the house. Julie came by, we figured out kind of where we wanna put all the extra lights in the second floor and also in the first floor where we might want to have hanging lights where chandeliers go and things like that. So we figured all those things out. But then today it is extremely cold. Um, we have a snowstorm, not a real blizzard, but we got a, at least for, for Virginia, it's very cold and um, a lot of snow is coming. So I'll have a short day and I'll explain a few things.
So one of the things I was able to finish yesterday was getting the last few uh, cans installed in the first floor. So all the rooms and areas in the first floor are have at least the basic lighting in the direct lighting in the room with cans. I have each room has at least four cans. Um, I think we'll do the same thing in the um, second floor with all the bedrooms just to give light that can be dimmed um, and then some areas might also get for example here we might add in the center um, an area for the parlor to just hang a chandelier or something if we want something more decorative um, same thing in the hallway kitchen dining room we'll have some extra decorative lighting just to make it look more traditional Since it's snowing outside and the wind is blowing a lot of the snow or a little bit of the snow inside plus it's really cold and drafty I need to do a little bit of maintenance and just get some of the windows where the sashes are missing or the glass is broken uh, just closed up with some styrofoam. One of the updates that I wanted to give you guys, I know I said in the past that we would share when we have chosen what kind of roofing option we're gonna do. Um, so we chose our roofing company in the area that we want to go with um, and also what option. So we have all this slate stack that my dad did a, a few weeks ago and um, 
since we have all that slate we can save a lot of money by not having to buy new slate to fix the the areas where um, slate is broken but also the bottom area where um, the old hidden of Philadelphia gutters are um, they are gonna come down we will have the Philadelphia gutters be removed um, and then finish the area on the bottom of the roof with more slate so we are repairing the slate they'll do some ice and shield we'll fix uh, they will fix any wood that is still on that on the sheathing on the top there um, that needs to be replaced and then um, at one of our chimneys it's a pretty wide chimney and it's in parallel with uh, with the or oh, it's it's perpendicular to the roof direction coming down so therefore there's a very wide section and there's always water going in so what they are going to do is they are going to add a little um, roof um, behind that chimney so that the water can actually run off easier and not get um, in as much and then obviously seal around the chimney so that it won't um, continuously the water won't go any in there anymore um, so we are doing a repair job we're going to do, uh, continue with using slate we are going to reuse the reclaimed slate that we um, picked up a few months ago and um, it's it's actually one of the cheaper options that we found um, to do the repair. Obviously, the risk is that the, the roof is already 120 years old, that we might get um, more repairs down the road that we have to do. But at least for right now, um, the option is to repair it. And then if in 10, 15 years, we have to do a lot of repairs again, then we might make another decision of restarting with a brand new slate roof or doing it a metal roof at that point. Well, since I'm pretty cold, I think this is it for this week. I hope you guys are staying warm out there if you guys are getting snow also. And otherwise, I'll see you guys next time I turn on the camera. Bye.